very first Zoom children's art lesson. I'm really excited to uh, teach you today and, some and to spend some time with you. Today's art lesson will be a bunny. We're gonna learn to paint a bunny in watercolors. And I'm gonna show you some examples of some of the paintings that were painted. Here's one. And here's another one. So, so I want you to get some ideas. You know, get some ideas about colors. And then this is another one that was painted with two bunnies. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. And so I'm going to teach you how to mix colors, how to do the outline, how to paint, how to get ideas, and how you can come up with your own color combinations as well. So we're gonna, I'm gonna move the camera over to the table so that you can see me demo, okay? Uh oh, my kitty's meowing, but we'll just ignore him. So here we go. Let's see. I'll put the camera down right here like this. Okay. Perfect. Right there, great. Yep. So, if you go online, you can get the download for the outline. This is the outline. And then I have instructions on how you can transfer the bunny to your watercolor paper. And so this is how you would do it. You would take some transfer paper and lay it down on your watercolor paper and then put the outline on and with a little piece of tape, you would tape it down, use a pen and do the outline. And then you would take these two off, and then you would have your bunny outline on your watercolor paper here, see? Now, if you don't have watercolor paper, you can print this out, and you can try painting on this paper too. And we will try that just to see how it's gonna, how it's gonna work. So, um, and then if you have this type of watercolor palette, you can definitely use this right here, or you can use tubes of watercolor paint. I put down the three primary colors here. I put a pink, a yellow, and a blue, and I'm going to show you how to mix colors, how you can get combinations. You can get purples with uh, pink and blue. You can get beautiful greens with yellow and blue, so you can make beautiful greens for grass. So um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to mix your colors. So Let's just do, let's try, let's try mixing some colors with these that I have here. And if you don't have these colors, you can just use this palette again. So we're going to take water on your brush and you're going to put water in the middle of the plate. And you're going to mix these colors. Look, this is pink here and this is blue and we're going to make purples. So you see how these colors are, are blending. Look at these beautiful colors. So let's just start with these two. And I'll mix some blue over here. And then if you want to mix green, you can take a little bit of yellow here and a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. Now, if I'm going too fast, don't worry, you can watch this video again and then you can kind of go over the steps at a, at a more slower pace. So once you have your colors here, you can just put this down. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna take water, just clean water with your brush. Let me move this right here. And you're gonna put water all on the inside. Oops, I gotta get my glasses on. You're just gonna take the brush and see how I'm just going on the edge of the outline and I'm just putting water all over him. Don't put water on his eyes. You can put water on his ears. See how tilt your pad just a tiny bit more vertical and then that way we can see the bunny. Like uh, uh, forward. Forward. Like this. Like this? Yeah. Oh. oh can you see him now? Is this better? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. We'll make it right work. here. Yep, there you go. Okay. Like this. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just putting water all over the inside, just like this. And try not to put too much water because if you put too much water, it will just 
flood the color, it might flood the color on the outside. So see how I'm just going around his eye and his little nose, just like this, okay? Then on your paper towel, what you wanna do is you wanna dab that brush, take the, ex, the excess um, water off, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up some color with your brush, and you're just gonna drop it in. See how you can take a little bit more pink maybe and put pink in there, see how the colors are flowing? Now you don't have to use these colors, you can use any colors that you have. Again, on your palette, if you have one of these right here, you can take some of these colors and add it to your bunny. See, you don't have to use the mixed colors that I did, but you know, we're just having fun. We just want to, we just want to be creative and, and have our own color, you know, the colors that you like, you, um, you use them, you know, use the colors that you like. So, and then you're going to um, paint the inside of one of the bunny ears um, pink right here. Now this ear is, face, is not facing us, so we're not gonna put the uh, pink on the inside of the ear. And let's, let's mix a little bit of brown. Let's add some little bit of browns in there too. We'll, we'll mix some browns, and we'll just add just a little bit of brown in here. So you see how all these colors are just being very pastel. And you can come to the edge of the, the bunny ear. Just keep going. Fun. Just make it fun. Now, if you want to make colors more rich so that you can have different values, this is all one light value right here. You can move your paper like this to let the colors bleed out. Now, if you didn't have watercolor paper and you had this paper right here for the outline, you can try painting on here too. You know, you can just take your outline and you don't have to wet it. You know, you're not gonna put the water on here. What you're gonna do with this one here is you're just gonna paint directly on it. So see, you can paint on this right here if you don't have watercolor paper. You, know, you can definitely do this. See how I'm just kind of moving the, the color around? A little bit of watercolor goes a long way because it's very concentrated pigment, and so it'll just move around a lot. So see, you can't do that, but it's not watercolor paper, so this is what will happen. It'll just kind of like absorb through there. So we're going, we're coming back to the bunny, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the colors a little bit more intense. We're gonna make them like uh, the values a little bit darker. And by doing that is you're gonna use less water and more pigment. So more pigment means less water and your colors will be darker in value. Do you see that, how it's darker? And so we're gonna apply some darker shades in there now. See how it's becoming a little bit darker on top of the, the, the water. It'll move, it'll bleed around in different areas. Okay, now to do the eye, you can go to a smaller brush like this. It's a little rigger brush, you see? And you're gonna wet your brush. Take the excess off on a, take the excess off on your paper towel and you can go with some brown. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just color the lip, you're gonna paint the little eyeball. And you're just gonna go around the little eyeball and you're gonna do the nose. Just like that. And you see? And then with the same brush, you can take a little bit of blue and brown and you will get a darker value. And you can paint little the whiskers like this. So here we go, the whisker. And then when the little eyeball starts to dry a little bit, you can take that dark color and you can add a little bit of the black on the inside. 
So see how the, the colors are kind of bleeding around and they're just changing? You definitely see how it's moving around. So we're gonna do some grass now. And we're gonna to move to some greens. I'm gonna, I think I need to move this a little bit more this way. We're gonna make some grass. I'm gonna paint some grass. So with the blue and the green, you can mix beautiful greens. And this is how I do it. I just load the brush with some greens. And you're gonna use the side of your brush to go make a sweeping brush stroke. Add some more green. Okay. If you want to make some grass, you can take that smaller brush and you can start to do this sort of thing. Okay, and if you want to add darker shades of green, you're going to use more pigment again and less water to make your values a little bit darker. So see how these are a little bit darker now, the colors? Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of um, how, I'm going to show you how to paint, how you can add a carrot in here if you'd like. So I'm gonna set this aside and this is just for practice. I wanted to show you how you can, um, you can paint a carrot. You can take pink and yellow and mix orange together. Let's, uh, Let's clean this little area here. And let's just get some yellow and some pink, and you can mix an orange. Do you see that, how you can mix an orange with these two colors? And how are you gonna paint a carrot? Is you're just going to take a, a brush stroke. You know, you can just make a carrot like that. Here it is again, here's a point. Just like this, there's a carrot. Or you can use this palette here and choose this orange. And here's a carrot going this way now. So we're gonna just like this brush stroke. Okay. And then if you want, you can bring the carrot this way. See, it's just practice. You have to practice. And you can round it off. And then to add the green, you can take some of your greens that you had mixed, and you can add the greenery, just like this, making little squiggly lines. You definitely add little details to that. This is how you would paint a carrot, you know, the little. And then to make these uh, colors darker again, you can take more pigment and less water to make it darker in value. And you would just add, um, you would just add the pigment to there. You can add a little bit of red for details. You know, just make it very loose and fun. You doesn't have to be perfect. You add more colors to this one here or details like this and there you would have a carrot. The beauty about watercolors is letting the colors bleed into each other like this and that's you know beautiful like that. So this is the carrot here that was painted. 
with the bunnies like that. Um, another idea that I want you to, um, to maybe do is when you want to do another painting, you can take this outline and trace it on your paper here. And then what you could do is you can turn the bunny around this way and trace it on a bigger size paper and have like two bunnies on your paper. You know, I want you to come up with your own creative ideas and you know, your um, ideas that you can do. So now we're gonna add the carrot to this painting here. And I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow with the pink and here's the orange and I'm gonna make the carrot go this way. So, and I think I'll do, I'll do it. You can, oop, you can't see. So we're gonna move it up here. Here's the carrot. Like this, Here's the carrot. And now we're gonna add some green. Carrot looks like it's floating up there right now, but we're gonna fix that. This is how you have to excuse my cat, he's meowing right now. Let's see how all this is happening. And then you can take a little bit of this um, green again here at the bottom and just kind of bring it up. You know, it's okay. Bring up this green. So once the paint starts to dry, and if you do go over your colors, over an area, they they do start to become a little bit darker. And you can add some blue for some, maybe some shadows underneath the bunny here. You know, and then when the eye starts to dry a little bit, you can add a little bit more color. I'm mixing blue and brown to make a darker value. And I'm going to, right here, add it to where it's a little bit darker. Now it really stands out because it's darker. Just like that, okay? Can you see there? So how you would sign a painting is, you can use this brush here, and I'm gonna demo how you can do that. You first wanna take your brush, like if it was a pen, and what you wanna do maybe is practice on a little piece of paper, this is how you would sign it. You know, you just pretend like this is a pin, this brush. Just like that. And just practice. Just pretend like this little brush is a pin and you're just signing it. You know, you're just gonna sign your name on the painting. And where you wanna sign your painting is not someplace really close to the bottom or to the edge, because if you put a mat around your painting, you're gonna cover your signature. So I would put it close to the bunny and I would just go like this. Oops, can you see, there we go. Just like that. And there you can just sign your first name. And if you want, you can get very creative and you can paint something on the background. You know, you can paint uh, clouds, you can paint a sun. Let's just paint some clouds just for fun and let's just use, I'm looking at these beautiful uh, blues right here in this palette and I'm just gonna take some blues and I'm gonna use two blues. I'm gonna take a light blue and I'm gonna take a dark blue and I'm gonna mix those two colors together on the brush. So one side has that dark color and this one has a light color and you can just make little clouds here Let's make little clouds up here if you want. And if you want to make them really loose, you could just take some water and you can just blend it out. See how you can just blend, you can blend those edges out with the side of the brush, how I'm just blending those soft, those hard edges out like this. Just like that, I'm just blending, blending them all out. And then if you have too much water, you can take your paper towel and you can just dab. And that'll help absorb some of the extra water. 
Or you can do another technique that I love to do, and that is splattering. You can take a little bit of your colors that you used in your painting. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of the greens down here just for splatter. So we're, let's just take some of these colors here that we use for greens. And to do the splattering, you definitely, you definitely need to have, oops, you, you need to have your brush loaded with a lot of water and color. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do this. You're just gonna do a little bit of splattering, see? Just like that. That's a little bit of splatter, and that just gives it a little extra texture. When your painting starts to dry, and you have those pencil marks there that, uh, or the tracing lines that you had there, like these little pencil lines, you want to wait until the painting is completely dry to erase those. And if you do, you, you can use a kneaded eraser or an eraser, and you can just gently erase. See how they, um, they kind of disappear? But you don't want to do this while the paint is wet because if you do, that paint is going to smear. So you definitely need to have it where it's dry or it will smear. So look how easy and fun this was just to paint a simple little composition. You know, you can take this, this outline again. And like I said, you know, you can turn it around. You can maybe add another bunny right here, you know, coming into this composition here. Think of all the different color combinations that you can come up with and um, get creative and have fun. Maybe you might want to put a rainbow back there, a sun up here. Uh, think about the color combinations. You know, you can, you can practice right here on an extra piece of paper, uh, you know, color combinations, like what colors would you like to see, you know, together? Maybe you might want to just use uh, browns. And so let's just pretend like we're going to do a bunny that's just all browns and maybe blacks, you know, like a realistic bunny. So you would put down some, some browns. some browns first and then you would put some blacks so you would have a bunny that has all these natural looking colors you know browns and blacks and you know and leave some white you know for the bunny so you don't have to have the bunny look very colorful like this you know it can be a bunny that looks like this again you know with all these different this one was just done with blues and browns, I think. Um, this one here, look at this one here. Look at how, how creative this one is. It's just a white bunny, and what they did is they just added water in there, and then they just dropped uh, dark colors of, I think, looks like purple or blue. And then the background was done just putting a bunch of water on the background on the outside of the bunny once this dries because if this is still wet these colors will bleed into here so the background was done after this dried and what you do is you just take a brush and you put water all over the background and you have your colors ready on your palette and you have all your colors ready on your palette and then you would just take your colors and then you would just paint all over the background. And, and you can move the painting around so that the colors can you know, move in different directions. So once you have your bunny done and you have it signed, what you can do is you can go and get a mat like this. This is a size uh, 14 by 11. And you can have it you know, matted like this and have a beautiful painting. So, um, I'm going to turn the camera. This, this is, I think, all the, that the lesson is right here. And if you have any questions, I'm going to turn the camera around. Back to me. Here we go. Okay, Hilda, we'll do some questions. Just, I'm going to unmute everyone. And then does anyone have any questions for Miss Hilda um, that they'd like to ask? Have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. No, I see some head shakes. <laughs> no, did everyone have fun? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You.
Well, then we will go ahead and sign off. Um, so that way we can, oh, does the, oh, let me, let me, un, let me stop the recording really quick. Cause I want to make sure that we protect everyone. And then I'll, um, I oh, will stop okay. it. And that way, I, yes. I do want to say something. Um, if you know of anybody that you think would like this art lesson, you know, share the Zoom art video with them. Maybe they might want to paint a bunny for their grandparents or, or for someone in their family or a friend to give as a gift. You know, you can definitely share your painting with family and friends. And, and uh, I hope that you keep painting and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for joining me today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to...